What's up, everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. And behind me, I got another sweet low mileage car to bring you. I told you the next car was going to be a Cadillac, and here it is right behind me. A 2008 Cadillac Seville STS, or a Seville Touring Sedan, as they say. These are basically all STSs, but I go by the old school Seville Touring Sedan. Uh, this is a 2008 model with 23,000 miles. Uh, 4.6 liter Northstar V8 rear wheel drive, not like a front wheel drive DeVille or DTS. This car is such a blast to drive. 23,000 miles, super, super nice car. Let's take a look. And here it is. This is a beautiful, beautiful car. And I know, you know, this isn't the normal type of Cadillac that I sell, but this is kind of, you know, the next generation, that art and science era Cadillac. And you just, you really don't see these, like the early CTSs you don't really see anymore. Uh, just people don't take care of these. This buyer of this car wasn't really like your typical Cadillac DTS buyer. Most of these cars weren't bought by, you know, retirees or stuff like that. So you just, they get used and they get thrown away. This car, you know, on the other hand was saved, it was spared. Uh, it's a 23,000 mile car. Uh, and I went through this car, serviced it, gave it everything, absolutely everything it needed, which wasn't much. It was really just, you know, preventative maintenance. Like, it had the original uh, Michelin tires on it still, which, I mean, were actually surprisingly true and round. Uh, but they had a little bit of dry rot in it, so I put new tires on it, um, and I put Michelins back on it, actually. Uh, I did full wheel pads and rotors, front and back. Um you know new tire pressure monitors i think front stabilizer links or bushings uh front end alignment had a second key made unfortunately they couldn't find the other key fob so i had a second key fob made so you know i just really wanted to dial this car in to be a real real nice piece uh and it is and it was and it just took that to the next level especially you know with its condition beautiful uh, you got the sun setting right on it it's absolutely just shining beautiful white diamond this is such a classic color for cadillac um you know they they use this color it's like it, it's like a common color you see but it's not overused they use it for a lot of cars you see this white diamond on a lot of these cars but it's not like it's overdone like it's like oh it's that color again it's you know not like a, a overused silver or generic tan you know it just it absolutely shines so Let's take a look at some of the details of this STS. Um, and I'm going to show you the inside and we're going to take it for a spin. Uh, start up on the front here. You can see the headlights are just absolutely beautiful. Nice crystal clear headlights. The bumpers show really well. Fog lights, turn signals all show really nicely. Fender is in really nice shape. And again, you can see that beautiful paint just really pops. You get right up on it. And you can see that metallic, you know, and then you see how clean these headlights are. This car, you know, obviously lived its whole life in a garage. Uh, at 23,000 miles, obviously it wasn't used a lot. So that tells you, yeah, you know what, this car, when it wasn't in use, it was in a garage. The front fascia is in really nice shape. A couple little mar marks on like the front license plate bracket here. Um, you know, I don't know if it was just bumping into something in the garage, but you know, just a few little abrasions there. But all the chrome, the coloring on the emblem uh, is in really, really nice shape. Come around here again, hood, it's beautiful, original GM. Windshield is in great shape. There's no delamination or anything like that. Has a factory sunroof. I'm up over here. I think that's the OnStar antenna. I'm not too sure to be 100% honest with you, but usually those little antennas break off going through car washes and stuff. Uh, so it's nice to see that this one is still there. I like what they did here with these fender ports, uh, the turn signals, and then the GM mark of excellent uh, badges that they put on a lot of these cars in this kind of bailout era. You know, you saw them on anything from a Malibu, from a pickup truck, anything. Uh, right here, we have a beautiful 17. I think these are 17s. Maybe this is an 18. Uh, this is a, why can't I see a size? Yeah, right down here, 235, 50, 17. 
but uh, super, super chunky. And like I said, I just put these on. These have a date code of, I don't know, a couple weeks. <laughs> they just got put on. Alloy wheel, polish alloy. I did have to put all new tire pressure monitors. When I had got the car, one was not working and it was giving me an indication on the dash service tire monitor. And then when they broke the tires down, just corrosion or whatever, uh, they put all new monitors and stems in there. Very minor, a couple minor spots here. You know, a little bit on the edge there, uh, but nothing too crazy as far as uh, corrosion on the face of the wheel. It's like a polished wheel. A little bit of a mark that, honestly, that'll come out. I don't know how we missed that one, but I will take that out because that'll, that'll polish off. Maybe I did that. I don't know. I'm pretty careful. Uh, piano black trim, really nice shape. All the sashes of the windows are really nice. And again, that beautiful pearl down the sides here. No dings or anything like that. Uh, in the doors, it has the uh, electronic uh, door, you know, uh, pull latches. Uh, it's kind of the weird thing that I don't really understand what, what the idea here was this. You know, this little red light lights up when you lock the doors. But in the back, they have the old fashioned pull tabs. Like, why, you know, who, who, who thought that out and must have forgot, I don't know. Anyways, come down here. You can see all the bottom of the door and the rocker is in nice shape. Wheel wells, super, super clean. Uh, and again, very, very chunky because it's brand new. Probably only has a few hundred miles on it. Um, pair of, or set of Michelins. Um, I think these are the same in the front and back. They're not staggered, yeah. 235, 5017s. Brand new pads and rotors, front and rear. Again, just very minor, few spots. You know, odd spots of corrosion. Otherwise, the wheels are actually in really good shape. A little bit of dust build up there, probably from the uh, driving. And on the side here, back corner of the bumper is in nice shape. It does have the rear parking assist with the ultrasonic rear parking assist. Very, very minor scuff or scratch right there. A few minor chips right there bug there STS Now, normally if you have these in an all-wheel drive format it would say four right here this is a real wheel drive version uh, they switched when they switched to this body style the STS went from a front wheel drive to a rear or all-wheel drive um, basically they changed the whole platform of the car they just really kept the name uh, integrated LED brake light kind of like the CTS's again this is that art and science era um, reverse lights into the trunk North Star V8. Come around here again. You can see a little chip in the paint, and a few minor scuffs right on the edge. Tail lights are in really nice shape. Paint on the deck lid shows beautiful. Come up over the roof here on this side. And again, beautiful original uh, GM laminated glass come down the side here the side of this car is absolutely phenomenal as well again another brand new Michelin uh, Defender that's actually the tires I asked for I just think that those are great tires I have them on my wife's SRX which she still hates even though it's got good tires uh, a few minor spots of corrosion you know in there uh, nothing too too crazy uh, they are a nice polished alloy and then the door here, I think on this driver's door, very minor little chip right there. No dings or anything like that. Edge of this mirror is in nice shape. And again, there's a fake fender port, a beautiful pearl white paint. You can see here another brand new Michelin Defender, nice alloy. Just again, a few minor spots uh, all inside the wheel well. And wheel arches and again brand new front pads and rotors i kind of hate doing my videos this late in the afternoon with the sun kind of beating down on the side but slowly running out of time and it's supposed to rain tomorrow so i wanted to get this done uh headlights in nice shape you know all the grill a couple little minor pits in the grill trim really nothing to really go crazy about i mean this car is in real real nice shape uh 23,000 miles 
that's exactly the shape that it should be in. So let's take a look inside. You can see here, beautiful cashmere leather interior. It's kind of like a cocoa brown, I think is the color they call it. Uh, Two-tone, the upper panels, uh, very classy, well done. You know, this is, this is the newer era. This was kind of the, the crossover between, you know, touch screens and buttons to the Cadillacs with the Q systems. Uh, you know, these STSs, and these were a little smaller than the DTSs, uh, but a nice step up from the CTSs. Uh, you can see inside the door jam, nice and clean here. All the gasket and weather stripping. It's really nice. Uh, all the door panel, the switches, there's no chipping or anything like that on the switches. Lock and unlock button here, and again, you got these little LED lights that indicate when it's locked. So, unlock it but you do the lock it won't let you actually lock the doors uh, Bose speakers a little bit of a dent in that metal um, uh, speaker grill uh, one of the things with these cars when I used to sell them back when I worked at the other dealership nobody could ever find where the trunk push button was and it's right here right inside the door pocket there little pop for the uh, rear trunk Again, carpeting is in nice shape. Leather is very, very clean in this car. Very, very nice. Again, you know, very, very minor wearing. Really nothing too crazy. And, you know, these cars have pretty high bolsters. So you can tell that whoever did drive this car wasn't a, a larger person and definitely doesn't have a lot of miles because the seat looks so great. Center console, leather wrapped steering wheel, which is a tilt and telescoping feature. Uh, this is also a heated steering wheel. The leather wrapped section heats, wood doesn't, has all the controls here. We'll show you all that in just a minute. Uh, but let me make sure I unlock the doors here. Stand up. Show you the inside here. Again, inside the jam, nice and clean. Door switches. Nice and clean door jam. Carpeting shows really, really well all in the back here. Uh, and the nice thing about this Bose sound system, you get speakers everywhere. One, two, three in the dash, two in the doors, four in the seats here. Um, and then you got three, oh, that might be a subwoofer in the back, two and a sub in the back there. Uh, it's an absolutely great sound system. Leather is in really nice shape, nice, soft, supple leather. Uh, definitely. A really well kept car probably something that again at 23,000 miles wasn't actively used you know a lot by anybody with kids or anything like that the woman who owned this car unfortunately passed away this was another estate car uh, door panel again all the wood is in really nice shape there's no cracking paneling up here all the handles are nice and clean and again inside the jams show really well headliner is perfect uh, it has the large drop down center console kind of cup holder thing with a pass through into the trunk and the carpeting shows super nice the leather is super super nice in there as well nice and soft Inside the front door here, again. Jam is nice and clean, get the Cadillac script there. This door panel shows really well. In the pocket, Bose speakers. Again, all the switches and everything like that. In really nice shape. Dashboard shows perfectly. I like the wood treatment they did here with the integrated STS emblem. Again, look at the carpeting. Super, super clean. Dual power seats with power recliners. Full-way power lumbar. And then it has the articulating headrests. Obviously adjustable. Seat belt is integrated. Center console is in nice shape. Little chip. Uh, something must have just caught this here and chipped that out. Uh, but yeah. All right, let's jump behind the wheel.
All right, well, behind the wheel of the STS, and I'd like to show you uh, again the key situation. So we do have two key fobs. You have the lock and unlock button, uh, factory remote start, panic button, and then the trunk popper. But the nice thing with these fobs is you do not have to use a key. Uh, this is the next generation Cadillac, foot on the brake. And she starts right up. Show you the mileage here. We'll clear out that trunk message trunk ajar already 23,656 miles I want to say I put I don't know I guess I didn't reset the trip meters it had 23 low maybe 22 I don't know almost 23 I feel like I put like five or six hundred miles on this car uh, that was before service and then once I put the new tires on and everything and the brakes you know uh, it was pretty much ready to sell so uh, I didn't, didn't hold on to it much longer after that. Uh, again, here, power, tilt, and telescoping wheel. You have seek buttons and stuff like that. There's your heated uh, steering wheel switch. Uh, all these buttons here kind of control your readout, you know, your uh, fuel economy, instant fuel economy, gas used, your trip meters down the bottom. Uh, I'm sure you can go into like a yep, tire pressure monitors, engine oil mileage we'll go back to that uh all four windows you know easy down uh express up you know one touch type uh window situation there uh side curtain airbags nice lighted vanity mirrors uh factory power sunroof i have it in the vent position but one touch opens it right up i think it goes back I don't know why they do that. A lot of cars, they go to that like almost open setting and then like, oh, you know, we can go a little bit more, but we just didn't want to surprise you right off the bat. We'll vent it back up. Actually, we're going to close that because we're going to go. No, there we go. We're going to go on the road uh, with this. Uh, headlights are automatic, though. You can manually put them on. Uh, we're going to shut them off. Uh, fog lights, stuff like that. Your wipers are over here. More radio controls. Uh, then in the center stack here, it's actually kind of cool uh, that they give you this little logo when you start the car up. It says Cadillac. Um, I guess I had to reset this uh, time and date because it's definitely not 413 and it's definitely not January 13th, 03. This car wasn't even built then. Uh, but it does have a really nice... Well, it's today, it's about uh, six months. So that means... Presets here, let's see. Don't want to get in trouble for copyright. Um, one of these here, I want to say it's this one, is going to be your GPS. Obviously disc-based, that's what this is. You know, slightly outdated, but still kind of cool. One thing I thought was always cool with these cars is they have this button that allows you to tilt in the screen and tilt it out. Why? I have no idea, to be honest with you. Um, but all the climate control here, you got dual zone climate control, ice cold air conditioning, we'll put that on recycle, circulate, heated front seats, little pop out, uh, ashtray slash coin collector. Uh, the thing that, you know, with this car is none of the buttons are all worn. Like these are real common, you see the buttons chip off just nothing like that original owner's manual uh cup holder dual cup holder traction your hazard light switch your automatic transmission with your uh, you know manual ish type want to be a race car driver on star stuff like that let's pop put here Today. Uh, this is a rear wheel drive um, North Star V8. I got the same setup in my wife's SRX. And if there's only one good thing I can say about her SRX is that it has this North Star because the powerhouse is a torque monster. I absolutely love it way more than the 3.6s, the V6s that they put in these cars. The V6s had timing chain issues and they're kind of scary. You know, when if you don't know if the timing chain uh, guides and stuff have been done. But these don't have any of those issues. And these aren't like the earlier North Stars. So don't light me up in the comments. Oh, it's got a North Star. 
these are a totally different North Star than your front wheel drive, you know, 98 Eldorado or 95 Sedan DeVille Concourse. You know, this is, this is different. Uh, but real clean under here, all underneath the hood. You know, all the plastics are present, nothing's missing. AC Delco battery. You can see how wet the AC lines are. This thing is working real nicely to keep the cabin nice and cool. Pop open the trunk here. There's a nice little, I don't know, a little tray there. Uh, all four floor mats are in really nice shape. Then underneath here, you have your spare tire. It is a pretty deep trunk. You know, the, the, the opening here isn't like huge, like a Lincoln, uh, you know, what I'm used to, but it does have the pass through there. Then it has a convenient pocket here that I got my plate on loose. Forgive me for that. But one, you know, swipe and it goes right down. Uh, so let's hop back inside. Woo! It is nice in here, 60 degrees, uh, 91 degrees, but feels like 110. <laughs> Not really, but it is hot and I'm sweating. And you know what, when I do videos like this, and you know, I'm later than I usually are, and it's too hot and my phone's ringing, it always screws up my mojo, and I, I feel like this video is gonna be a train wreck. Uh, I hope hope it's not gonna be I hope it's gonna be a good one. Uh, let's adjust the seat here. Obviously it has power, uh, dual power seats with memory recalls. Definitely can't wait to open this thing up because this thing is just honestly when I got this car in I hadn't had one of these in so long and I definitely haven't had one like this nice and just crisp and that nice feeling of driving a nice nice car is like something different it was fun I drove for like a week and a half and here we go and that's like half throttle she gets up and moves. You know, this car is just butter smooth. I keep saying that. Silky smooth. It's silky smooth. Uh, <laughs> and like I said, with those brand new Michelin Defender tires, uh, it goes down the road nice and smooth. Uh, front end alignment, it's straight as an arrow. All the tire pressure monitors. So it has been serviced. Like I said, four brand new Michelins. Uh, you know, I, I priced out a few other sets of tires, and the tires that should be on this car our Michelins that came with Michelins and you know the price difference from a Michelin to like a Goodyear or a Toyo was minimal I said you know what just put Michelins back on it uh, four new tire pressure monitors front stabilizer links and or bushings um, front pads rotors rear pads rotors oil change synthetic oil change uh, that's not due till 28,000 and a half uh, so yeah, it's it's ready to go. It's turnkey, two sets of keys, everything works, ice cold air, and she corners. I mean, this isn't like an STSV where it's like, you know, we're on the Autobahn here, we're doing, you know, 9,000 miles an hour around the corner, you know, but I'm definitely not driving a 92 Brome. Uh, speaking of 92 Bromes, I got a real nice one coming in. Uh, and that's kind of why I'm delayed today because I thought it was gonna be here today. But the guy called and told me, nope, tomorrow. So I've been waiting all around all day. I could have done this earlier. Anyways, 92 Brome D Elegance incoming. I'll leave it at that. Uh, but yeah, this, this car is absolutely super, super sweet. Art and science era. Anyways, my name is Anthony. 978-930-1004 is my number. You can get me there anytime. Price of this car is going to be $17,995. Any questions, give me a call. 978-930-1004. Uh, check me out on Instagram, Specialty Motorcars NH. Facebook, I always post updates and sneak peeks and stuff like that. So if you have any, uh, you know, you want to get the, like the backdoor information, definitely check me out there. Give me a thumbs up. 
up. Totally appreciate it. Uh, check out my merch store on my website, specialtymotorcars.net. Totally appreciate it. We've got Papa Bear t-shirts, Anthony t-shirts, uh, keychains, soon-to-be mugs, and all other kinds of stuff. I absolutely am flattered by the amount of love and support I get uh, when it comes to my t-shirts and stuff like that. Uh, so I totally appreciate that as well. Again, my name is Anthony, 978-930. 1004 you have any questions give me a call and again like i always say don't let distance stop you from getting a dream car like this in your driveway because i can help you ship this car right to your front door really um it's that easy give me a call tell me you want it uh we'll do the paperwork payment over the phone i'll set it up i'll have the car dropped off to your front door you'll have the paperwork overnighted it's super super easy thanks everybody for watching we'll talk to you soon